Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless, Stroker's Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Bunchwally Garage and Fearless Insurance Services. Good morning. Today is August 29th, 2023, which is a Tuesday year of our Lord. So, Today I wanted to talk about uh, when I worked for Roach Paint. Went to work there at 19, retired at 39, and opened this, this place. When they made me store manager in about uh, 1978, I was store number four in Irving, Texas, Plymouth Park Shopping Center. Center. Remember that? So, uh, we had like 30 stores at the time, and the store in Irving didn't do much. There wasn't much construction going on. Everything was going North Dallas, Plano, out there. So I thought, okay, so everybody is going to Plano and buying their paint because that's where all the construction is. So all the stores opened at 7 a.m. So at 7 a.m. at the Plano store, it was packed with contractors picking up their paint. And then I thought, well, those paint contractors that are picking up their paint, sitting there waiting for them to open at 7 o'clock, they don't live in Plano. They live in Irving and Garland and Grand Prairie and Richardson and Fort Worth. You early bird, Rick, why don't you open the store early, advertise it, there wasn't no social media back then, and see if you can get people to maybe come by the Irving store, pick up their paint, they're on the job at 7, not waiting at the paint store for them to open. So I did, I opened at 4.30. So I got there about 3.30 every day, and I would mix paint, make coffee, have donuts, make sure everything was ready, and then I would open the doors at 4.30. Within a year, I went from one of the smallest stores in the company to the number one store in the, com in the company. That was huge. That was a huge deal. Uh, painters would come by Irving, I would mix up the paint, have them ready, it got to where they would let me know, hey, I'm going to be in tomorrow, I want to pick this up, this up, this up, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, I'll have it ready for you. And it got to where I would have to bring in uh, uh, another guy, Mike Collins, would come in and help me, and we built a really good, a really good business, but that just goes to show you what a little thought can do. Because that's what I did. I thought, why is, why is that store out there in Plano got that I ain't got? Well, they got a bunch of construction. Who's spending the money? The contractors. Where they live? They don't live in Plano. They don't live in North Dallas. Okay. They're driving to the store, so they're passing a jillion paint stores on the way. You know what y'all do, Rick? You ought to open your store up early. Service them contractors. I did. And it worked. Alright. Check the chuck. Okay, hold on there. Uh-oh, when I got that on there. Oh, you back again. Looky here. So these are blue plaid. I love plaid. So I have a bunch of different pairs of plaid shoes. I got them in blue, red, gold. I got all kinds of plaid. So you got the white toe, white sole, double blue racing stripes, blue shoe strings, embroidered blue logo with the blue back strap. 
Them is some handsome shoes there, buddy. Don't you think? Okay. Hey, while we're at my office, look at this. So my buddy Chopper Bill has one of these things mounted on his front fender. And when I commented how cool it was, he got me one. Isn't that cool? Okay, get that there. Go back over there. Dad joke. A recent study says that women who carry a little extra weight live longer than men who mention it. True. Throwback word, turkey. You turkey. So turkey is something that was popular in the 70s. You jive turkey. Turkey meant uh, goober. Hey goober. Hey you turkey. That's another one of those words you used when you didn't want to cuss. You want to call somebody an idiot, you just call them a turkey. Uh, motivational minute. You are never too old to set a new goal or dream a new dream. What does that mean, Miss Fairless? You're never too old to set a new goal or to dream a new dream. Well, I think what that means is we're all getting older. But just because you're getting older don't mean you can't have something to look forward to. It doesn't mean you can't set goals. It doesn't mean you can't dream a new dream. Maybe your dream is getting a new icebox. All right, I got a new icebox for the garage recently. Black. Black icebox. Looks good. Maybe you're never too old to set another goal. Uh, my wife and I have a couple of goals that we've set, of things that we want to do. So uh, don't, don't just be a couch potato. Why do they call it a couch potato? Why couldn't it be a couch, a couch mouse? Don't be a couch mouse and sit on the couch looking for mouse, mice. That makes no sense. Okay, so uh, spring fling? No, boy, no. Anniversary party, October 27th, 28th, 29th. It's going to be good. Love to see you. The weather's starting to cool down just a little. Not much, but a little. Still sending out the $2 bills if you order 50 bucks or more. Rick's Groovy Lager is selling pretty good. Come try it. And I got an email from a lady that said her husband and their her son had come to Dallas on vacation and that I gave them a tour of the place and the highlight of their vacation was spending time with me and taking a tour. That's pretty humbling. That's pretty humbling. That's just called being nice to people. And, you know, it, it, it made an impression on them, and she sent me that email, and it made an impression on me. All right, I got to go. I'll check you turkeys later. Love you, bye.